Hi, good afternoon. My name is Melvin Bailey, Executive Director of Community Mail Empowerment Project. We have an exciting 13-week program to talk about the community issues. We call for all hands on deck, just like the last segment you guys just seen. He had it on his screen, all hands on deck. But what we're doing now, today, you know, we're just going to do a quick introduction of who we are, what our organization is about. We've been uh, how we've been fighting for opportunity in the community, fighting the city, fighting the state department, fighting the federal government to let them know that we are here, we need opportunity. Too many lives are being uh, lost in our community with, with senseless violence, and, and it seems as if our voice is going unheard. But we're here today on CAN TV to talk about the issues and talk about how we can bring viable solutions to this we're going to have right now needs for this right now problem. And, and our community is most definitely a problem. So again, I'm Melvin Bader, Executive Director of Community Mail Empowerment Project. Our goal is to impede progress, growth in our community for the hardest to serve youth and people who struggle with social profile. You see them out there every day, brothers and sisters hanging on the corner, lost, with no vision, no goals, no purpose. So we're here to speak for the voiceless and to let the city know and let all powers that be know the jig is up. The jig is up. You guys, we elect you in office to do a job. And today, starting today, and this is a new year, you guys are going to start doing your job. Because no longer we're going to keep suffering in our community with all these um, abandoned buildings, vacant lots. You know, all these high foreclosure, you know, closed stores, closed schools, closed businesses. You know, that's no longer going to happen because we're going to call each individual on the carpet to make this thing happen. I'm sitting here today with uh, one of the um, our co our co anchor, uh, Mr. Chris Anthony, and he will speak shortly about what he do with Community Mail Empowerment Project. And we're going to talk about the urgency and the need for us to step up and, and just challenge everybody and let them know when they're wrong. Because right now they're wrong. Come on now, you, you brewers know they're wrong. Because look at our neighborhood. Look how we're suffering. Come on now, you mean to tell me no one's saying anything to the youth. We, and we're we so disconnected. We, so, we, we hate each other. And that's our problem, too. We hate each other. There's no love in the community for each other. So now we'll look at it's wrong for the kids to kill each other. We know that's, that's, that, that's a terrible tragedy. But we want to let them know there's an opportunity. You don't have to kill the next man or that next brother. You, you, you're killing the wrong person anyway. You're shooting babies. So you need to put the guns down anyway. So by that being said, I'm going to give Mr. Chris Anthony a chance to speak, and then he can tell you what's uh, going on what he's going to be doing with Community Mail uh, up and coming with the next uh, 12 weeks. We're on now, so we got 12 more weeks of coming to you guys, talking to you live. And our goal at Community Mail is take over the social media airwave. We, our voice and our, and our face want to be out there a constant threat to the powers that be. You voted Ron Emanuel in, what have he done for you? Come on now, somebody talk to me. Talk to me because I talk back. Melvin, I, I'm, I'm so passionate just there like you, you here, and, and I'm glad that I'm you I'm glad are. you stepped in because <laughs> I was well, gone. Well, see, here's the thing is that you, you hit around the head. It's about making an impact. Yes. It's about how we can contribute and how we can give back to now a community that, that wants solutions, that, that needs solutions, that is asking for it. Right. And this is a platform that we're using here now to reach you and to tell you, listen, we have something for you. We have a solution. I the agree. solution here is to, to, to bring back the community, create different jobs where people didn't think jobs were possible, offer more resources, and bring everybody together. Listen, I love this city. He loves this city. We are truly, truly uh, trying to progressively bring this thing ahead. And by doing so, you sometimes have to, to pick up and, and put on your shoulders. And this is what we're going to do. So my focus primarily has been related with housing. Uh, I focus a lot on doing different community programs and outreaches to local uh, organizations that are not-for-profits through um, other for-profit entities. And what we try to do is we try to set up a time to evaluate where communities or 
or certain neighborhoods are having the huge, uh, hugest impact in depression. Mm -hmm. And we try to go out and we try to figure out how can we create a solution by creating jobs and by restoring housing together. Right. And so one of the bigger keys that we're going to focus and we want to tap with you guys is that say, hey, if you have opportunities, if you know contractors, people that you need jobs, people that are looking for housing, um, any avenue or aspect of life, we can really work with them on getting them involved. Because right now, we're the fundamentals to do it. We're the powerhouse. We're the ones that can now provide an additional uh, uh, strength that you didn't think was possible. That's correct. That's correct. So, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring, um, and, and again, you know, I knew I threw a jab at the mayor, and, you know, if if he don't sit down and talk to us, you know, we got to continue throwing jabs at him. And so he sit down and talk to the grassroots people to say this, the people who elected him in office to do a job, you know, he's doing us a disservice. So, but I know at, at some point we will sit down and talk, and we're going to have an open, candid conversation about changing lives. And just like Chris said, now when we talk about contractors and we talk about uh, employing young men and women, we're not playing with you either. The contractors, you know, we want to make sure you're a real contractor. We don't want you to come, you know, because our name and our reputation, our organization on the line, and we did not come this far to get turned around by someone that's trying to get rich off one project. That's not what we're here for. We're not here to right. We're here to change lives. We're here to take the young generation that um, didn't have any vision or didn't have any focus, we're here to change their mindset to let them know that they can be successful out here in this lifetime and to show them a different outlook in life. And that's our whole goal and our whole focus because we're tired of our generation. We're losing a whole generation and a whole generation to, uh, to the streets. And, you know, and so we want to make sure we tap into that to make sure that we're doing our part. We want to make sure we do our part. Yeah, yeah, doing our part. I mean, it should be from day one, um, you know, going out, doing uh, more and more community outreach programs. I mean, we're constantly in the community. Um, if you want to come to our website, cmeprojects.org, uh, uh, we're going to actually blast a calendar of future events that we're going to be uh, hosting and that we're going to be out and about. If you have any questions that may be related to housing, uh, jobs, any type of you know social services, we're the connector for that. We're the, the platform to get you in. Um, I always go back to jobs. Jobs is a huge thing because at some point it is a, a way to, to show how really strong the community is. Strong, uh, excuse me, small businesses are the lifeblood of, of really uh, the communities across the country because at some point you can tell if they're hiring or not and how well the economy or forecast is going. So, you know, when it comes to that, we, we make sure that we get the small business owner involved and understand that you also, too, have a responsibility to, to, to give back or to work with individuals in your community, not just people that are outside or that may have a special interest. We don't play that. We want to make sure that it's understood up front and that it's communicated properly. Okay, for each house that we put back on the market, we create seven jobs. Okay, that's a lot of opportunities for people when you really look at it, when you look at all the amount of the vacant and abandoned buildings in the city of Chicago. Okay, even if we did half of the number, I think the number is at what, what, 12, 14,000, something like that. Yeah. If we did half that's that bad. number, okay, it, it, would, it, would change, it would change the way people wake up in the morning. It would change the way people's attitudes are because people are going to continue to do what they're doing unless you provide them resources, unless you give them tools. And this is what we practice and preach all the time. I think, Melvin, right. you were going to uh, an event last week or, uh, excuse me, a week or and a half ago about mm -hmm. um, uh, it was a, uh, it was a, a gun turn-in program, yes. wasn't it correct? Something mm -hmm. like that at some point. So it's just it's little things like that where we, we try to, you know, niche ourselves ourselves in and say, hey, we're just not here trying to, you know, uh, promote housing or sell your house. We're, we're trying to focus on letting you know that your community needs you. Yeah, correct. And another thing, when I say we got the next 12 weeks, we got a lot of, um, uh, a lot of exciting topics we're going to talk about. We're going to bring different uh, speakers on uh, to share what they're doing in their community to make sure that uh, they're doing their part, and we're going to support them. If you're doing something positive in the community, we're going to support your effort. We're going to support you wholeheartedly, and we're going to make sure that you can have a platform such as a platform like this to talk about what you're doing. And we're going to um, have videos, upcoming videos. You're going to actually see, uh, we, you know, instead of us talking, you're actually going to see it. And we know that 
you know, when uh, we're talking about being in the blessing business, we want to show uh, how blessed a lot of folks is by changing their lives, especially these young generation, these young kids. Because right now, a lot of kids are not going to school. Mm -hmm. The sidewalk they school. The sidewalk is the high school now. You know, the corner is, is the new school. So mm -hmm. we want to change that mindset from uh, being in uh, from being on the corner to being into a learning environment. If it's a, well, when it's an environment that we have them in a learning environment, because what we're gonna do is our goal is to deprogram our youth. We have to deprogram them, and reason why I say deprogram because we've been program so long doing it the wrong way now it's time to deprogram the youth because when they come on being employed with us it just don't stop there we're just not going to give you a job and give you a check oh man we're gonna you're gonna hear us talk we're gonna talk your ears off mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. that we are pounding this knowledge in your head because you you have a family to raise and you want to make sure you're daughter your son don't follow the wrong route or go down the wrong road so that's our goal to make sure that we're uh making sure the whole generation that we can save we can save i'm not here to talk about only if i can save one hell i don't want to save one i want to save y'all i want to save all of you you know what i mean it ain't my job just to be saving one i'm not on tv i'm not here on can tv to talk about save one individual my job is to save a flock a flock of young men and women to make sure we're changing their mindset to to elevate them to go higher even we know once we employ them a lot of them probably just don't stop there we're going to encourage them to do other things and that's what we're here for we're going to encourage you to do more we're going to encourage you to go back to school we're going to encourage you to show you that you can be successful you can make a change when you set your mind to it well, if, if you're out there now and you like what you're seeing, feel free to call. Give us any comments or any feedback, 312-738-1060. That's 312-738-1060. Uh, but that brings us to our next part of the, of the topic. We have the good, the bad, and the dirty. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on here in Chicago, in the Chicago area. You've heard about so many different uh, you know, problems going on, either whether it's being one community or the next. Listen, my good is this, is that I'm glad to see that somebody finally got it right. One issue that I did, uh, you know, read about in the news recently was that there was a Dairy Queen uh, that was out in the suburbs that had a racial issue. And, you know, for the response that you heard from that current Dairy Queen owner, you know, to me was shocking. I was, I was very appalled by it. I, I think that it has no place here. Uh, to be racist in front of anybody or to use that type of profanity. And uh, Dairy Queen uh, is removing their franchise from this Dairy Queen owner. So to me, I'm, I'm happy to see something like this. Somebody finally got it right because you hear about so many issues and incidents going on and you just feel like, where is there justice? Where is there serve? People look past it. People just ignore it. Well, I'm glad Dairy Queen, you got it right. Good, good. And that's what and that's why we want to tell the city it's time to get it right. Yes. It's time to get it it's right. It's time. It's time it's to been get long it right. You know, we you know, it's time to, for the city to get it right. Mm -hmm. You've been doing it wrong for so long. What's the bad over here? What's the bad we got with the city? I mean there's I know there's a long list and we're not gonna talk about the city, but just in general we wanna make our city better. How right. can we make it better? Right. And and then what, what the city and, and and what they have to do is this. You have to come down to the grassroots people. The grassroots people is making the things happen in the community. The grassroots people are on the ground. You, you, you can't solve a problem from the boardroom. And all the educators that they have, you got the educators that coming from a textbook. The educators are not boots on the ground. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, the educator, you know, they like, man, I rap by them people. What you mean you rap by them people? Yeah, I know you rap by them people. You don't even get out your car to stop. To even talk to them people. So you know there's a problem. So that's why we want to let them know, man, you have to come down to the grassroots people to solve this grassroots problem. You got to have a solution somehow. You have to, you can't just kick the can, right? right? As they say, you have to man up and you have to come and meet and let's have a dialogue. Let's have a discussion. Because this is what this is here, is having a discussion. We, we want you to call in. Please feel free to do so. But at some point, we're trying to have more discussions with the city so we can better improve our neighborhoods, right? So we can better improve the quality of life. So we can better improve uh, the quality of our drinking water. I mean, there, there's so many things that we can work on that we can talk about. We, we may need a whole two hours for the show, but they only give us 20, 30 minutes for this one. Oh, but we'll be here for an hour. 
Don't worry about <laughs> it. We'll be here for Because, like the State Department, there's so much to talk about. Shame on the state. Come on now, elected officials, you got to be. You School mean, system? The state, the, you know, our, our state reps down in Springfield. What are they doing? They didn't pass a budget yet. Yeah, come on now. Ain't that, you know, as long as y'all get a check, yeah, everybody fine. You don't care if if uh, uh, homeless people get displaced. You don't care if daycares get shut down. Come on now, shame on you. Shame mm. on you. And see, that's what we're talking about. We're going to call you out on the carpet. You guys need to make, make changes. And what we're going to do, we want to make sure that we make the community, everybody aware of the challenges of what's going on in our community. You know, and the barriers. And we want to make sure that we have a voice for the voiceless because a lot of times people just don't want to say anything or they were like well man you know our voice ain't gonna get heard because uh uh, uh they too high up <clears throat> you're lying to me you're lying to me you ain't that high up it's time for you to come on down and talk because we need we have some solutions for you guys but right now we just don't want to share them with you right now because we know you don't do nothing but take ideas and run up the road talking about, oh i just what i thought about you ain't thought about nothing you ain't thought about nothing. You ain't doing nothing lying. So, but again, I want to say, I want to give, uh, we lost one of our fallen soldiers, Mr. Joseph Watkins. He used to do the show with me about nine to ten years ago. I, I, you know, we lost him. Um, unfortunately, he passed away, and I got to give my condolence to him, uh, uh, to his family, because he is a straight soldier, a soldier for change. But that's all right. You know, the creator working with him now, he's uh uh, I know he's talking to the creator, trying to change his mindset. And that's how Joe was. Joe was making sure that uh, he was fighting for the people. And that's what we're down here doing. We're trying to fight for the people, man, because it's a shame that uh, uh, we going on like everything fine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and another thing we're going to talk about, like I said, is just, just keep rolling on. Okay, our police, Johnson. They talking about putting a thousand police back on the street. Not one time I heard them talking about, man, let's do a job program. Or let's do a mentor program. Because we know that the young man and that's doing all the shooting, anytime you shoot in a crowd with seven people and his babies, there's some mental issues going on. Yes. You know, there's some you mental cannot. issues. You just can't tell me you thinking all right. When you got babies and you look in the crowd, you see babies and the guys that you beefing with, you want to shoot in the crowd and hit the babies. Mm. So we want to talk about the mental. We got to uh, uh, provide some mental help for them. We got to provide for them. And then that's why we got to provide a job for them, too. We got to make sure that they employ. And then if they ain't employable, we're going to get them ready to be employed. Yes. So these are things we need to talk about. We don't need to talk about putting a thousand more police on the street. To what? Police? You can't, pol you can't police your way out of this. And then one thing, I'm going to throw this out there for free. You know, y'all can take this and run with it. If you're going to have police on the street, won't you find police that have been born and raised in that neighborhood? The new police, that's the new uh, hirees that y'all hiring, you know somebody filled out the application that was in the 24th Ward. Won't you hire them from the 24th Ward? And if you know they come from the 37th Ward, hire them that came from the 37th Ward. Duh. It makes a whole lot of sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. And I'm throwing that out there for free because I know you're going to do nothing but take it and act like you, you came up with it. You know, you ain't come up with the idea. I'm throwing it out there for free. <laughs> so, like I say, we're going to call you out, man, because we're tired. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. I don't know how long we're going to keep going through it. But what's one thing is is happening is a lot of people raising up on the system. A lot of people are raising up, man, because they're, they're tired of the violence that's going on in our community. They're tired, and then, okay, here's another one I'm going to throw for free to you. Why all the homeless people that are sleeping in this terrible weather, why don't we open up one of them closed schools and put the homeless people in there? Good point. Good point. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Somebody talk to me. There's a lot Because, again, schools. I talk back. Man, all these closed schools, and guess mm -hmm. what? You, got the, you, 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 got, you can put the beds there, and you can feed them. Because and training programs. Right there. There I just do that out there for free. See, because I know y'all gonna somebody gonna run and tell me, "Ooh, look what I thought of." You ain't thought about nothing. Listen, please make 2017 the best thing that we can do together. Okay, not by yourself, not as a small group, but as a collectively as a whole, because we want to be here with you. Him, right. myself, everybody here, part of this organization, what they stand, what they mean for, truly is community based, and we will always be community based. 
yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We will be here for the community. My whole issue in my uh, closing segment here is about respect. I believe truly if we were to show individuals more and more respect to each other in, 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 in the streets and as we go out, well, there would be a lot less violence. We'd be able to curb a lot of things. I have to tell everybody, listen, it's not that serious. If somebody were to step on your shoes or somebody were to you know, say something to you, let it go. It's, there's, there, there's bigger issues to be concerned about versus these smaller things, and this is what we have to share and we have to lighten everybody. Okay, someone may not be in the right mind. You can't just be the decision maker and say, hey, I want to do this to them or I want to do this. It's not your day or place. Okay, I'm not giving a speech about saying, hey, love everybody, snap, but have respect. I think if we showed respect to more people, to, to, to you as a, as a regular human being or as a professional, as a colleague, that we would be able to solve a lot of these problems. Clearly. And so that's why I want to let everybody know going forward in 2017, we want to show you that we have respect for you by taking the platform and using this to tell you, listen, we're here for you. We are 100% here for you in your corner. Any issues you have, any concerns you want to go through, we're going to make it work. That's true. And another thing, the city, Oh, I, I like a bunch of people in the building department. But a bunch of people, we have a disagreement. Oh, and I will be mentioning your name sometime in this segment. Not now, but later on, we're going to have a few meetings with the city. And uh, I got to call you out. I'm going to have to call you out. If, you, if you're if you working for the community, you're working with, you're helping the community. If you're not, you can tune in on the Monday and you're going to see that, oh, yeah, I sat with this person. They're they, they not, they not African-American friendly. Or they're not community friendly. Or they don't want to see any changes. It's going to be one, two, or the other. Or you're going to hear me say, oh, man, they really did a great job. They're really trying to help us. They're really trying to help change mm -hmm. lives. they really passion the way we are about helping folks change lives. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Your name will be called. You can bet that. And, and I'm, I'm just trying to be as nice as possible as I can, but I have to call it out. We don't protest anymore. We're not going down there protesting and doing all that. We're going to use social media. We're going to let the media tell the story. Just like the media will tell negative stories, just like the media, they love to come out. Oh, what we're talking about now, Chris, let's just get it clear. You ain't going to get the... Uh, 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 not too much of Channel 5, Channel 7 to, to come out. You know, they all want to come out when it's bad news. When it's something positive, they ain't coming. So what we're going to do, we're going to call the national news media out to talk about the issues and how we're changing lives. Because the local media, no, they want to hear about who got killed, how many people, how many guns they found. Oh, they really don't care either. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the local media too. Yeah, yeah, y'all going to get it too. Y'all ain't just, get, oh, you think I'm going to let y'all get away too? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can come from up under that table because we're going to be talking about you too. So, again, that's why we're here. We're going to, you know, our segment is about to end, you know, in another, uh, another couple of minutes. But we want to talk about life on life terms. We're going to talk about right now solution for right now problems. Mm -hmm. So, please tune in. We're going to have more up and coming speakers that will join us to talk about relevant issues that will directly impact you and, and your community. We have people that will be able to to um, uh, uh, reach out to you. Uh, I believe we have a caller calling. Hi, great show. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, I just wanted to, I just noticed you guys were saying uh, it's time to call the national media out, but you're on a network right now that covers more local voices than anyone else in the city combined. Great. So don't forget about TV. you know, those guys are awesome. They are. Yes. They are. Yes. They are. All right. Have a great show. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Hey, I love it. I love it. He's an educated listener. The feedback. And that's what we want is feedback because the concern is so great in our community. And the need is so great. The need is so great. And we need educated, we need educate folks to call in. And we wanna and what we're gonna do is this. We're not just gonna sit behind this desk and talk about what we're doing. No, no. We're gonna take you to some job sites on where we're creating jobs at. No, we just not gonna sit behind a desk and be like, oh, this is what what y'all not doing. And that ain't go with that wrap up. Man, please, I got a lot to say. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. How long do I got? 
And see, I know they're going to be flashing me. See, I had this. I, it wasn't a problem last uh, time we was here, but I just had so much to say. I was just talking all the way to the end, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to be talking all the way to the end. They're going to be like, Melvin, it's time to wrap up. I see you saying wrap up. Yeah, okay, but I got a lot to say. But, again, <laughs> we're going to take just like when Chris hosts an event and when we host an event and when we doing uh, – um, Creating jobs in the community, we're going to bring Can TV along with us, and we want our viewers to see. We hope you guys can join us next week. Tune in every single Monday from 6 to 6.30, Community Mail Empowerment Project. Please give us a call. Wrap up. How many more minutes we Have got? Have a good day. Wrap up.